The news for South Mississippi continues. The 4 o'clock show with David Elliott, Karen Abernathy, and Chief Meteorologist Mike Greeter. Doesn't that look and sound mm -hmm. fantastic? Audiences describe Celtic Crossroads as the most exhilarating and authentic show to come from Ireland in decades. The live concerts are a spectacle of talent, and you won't want to miss it. They're going to be here on the coast. That's right, and they're making a stop in South Mississippi this week for two performances at the beautiful Mary C. O'Keefe Center in Ocean Springs. We're so excited to have one of the lead singers, Marianne Knight, and the musical director, Michael McClintock, with us here today to talk about the show. and. Wow, it looks great. I had a chance to look at some of the DVD highlights, and it just looks like a fabulous show, Michael. Is it oh, it's something a, that you've always wanted to do, work on a show like this? Yeah, we, we put a lot of time into it. And it's, I mean, it's a really high-energy, fun kind of show. And it's, you know, it's, uh, it's very authentic as well. There's no synthesizers or backing tracks or any of that stuff. It's the, it's the real deal. <laughs> so and, Michael, what's amazing to me is when we talk about musical and cultural heritage, mm -hmm. few countries, I think, can match Ireland. So music has always been a big part of the Irish culture, it's hasn't a, it? It's a huge, it's a huge yeah, part. Yeah, it's, it's, I suppose it's something that you go to school and the first thing you put in your hand is an instrument or, you know, you're lifting your leg to do some Irish dancing. So... The culture is very much prominent and whether it's song or you know music or dancing it's all you have to try all three at least and then it depends on where you take it from there but we certainly are very proud of our culture and that we hope that um, we can bring it to we're obviously going to be bringing it to Ocean Springs so we hope that they enjoy it too. And I know that a lot of um, the traditional music from Ireland is incorporated into this show, but it does have a certain edge about it, right? I mean, a, a little yeah. updated edge about the show overall, with yeah, a well, lot of traditional as well? Yeah, well, I mean, I, mean, I suppose there's, there's a few different things that are... Well, we're, we're using a, a couple of different genres in, in there as, as well. We're, we're looking at the things that influenced Irish music and the things that came out of Irish music. Like, um, for example, in, in America you have bluegrass and, and sort of Appalachians music, which is an adaptation of Irish music with a bit of, you know, good old American entrepreneurship and kind of, you know, innovation in there as well. Right. So, yeah. so there's a real international kind of influence. It is. There. I mean, it's, it's definitely very much based in, in Celtic music, um, but Celtic music from around the world as well. Well, Karen, what do you say? We'll be back with Michael and Marianne in just a minute, but right now we want to give you just a taste <laughs> of Celtic Crossroads. <laughs> Few of the highlights from Celtic Crossroads, and it looks like such a great combination of different, different. I mean, you have some really upbeat and some beautiful slow melodic pieces. Yeah, we do. We ha we have actually um, the old Irish harp, which is I suppose the the pinnacle of grace and and slow pieces that we play, and we have everything then from the caha and the drums to you know the Irish wooden flute, the button accordions, and I think it's great that. We're, we're such good friends as well, and I think that comes across on stage. And you have a beautiful really voice, too, by the oh, way. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Well, Mary C. O'Keefe, a beautiful theater, too, so this should be an opportunity to see some great shows. Michael, what's y'all's year like? What's your schedule like when you travel around? We've got a pretty serious set, uh, schedule ahead of us. In fact, we, in fact we, we just we were in Maine. Our last show was in Maine, and, um, so we've traveled a long way to, yeah. to come down to Ocean From Maine to Mississippi. Yeah. Wow, in, in that, well, that's great. Not quite one, not quite one leg. We, we had a little <laughs> bit of a stopover, but, I mean, 
we're, we're going, we're traveling all around the East Coast mostly. Yeah. And, and you're really back in part by popular demand because the show was such a success when you were here in January yeah, that you had to come back to perform to for right. more people. That's right, exactly. that's right. No, I think it was, it was um, we had a lot of people sitting in the aisles and you know, it was a bit of a squeeze last time. <laughs> but uh, but this, this time, we'll, in fact, we've got two shows on. Um, so we, we're, we're performing tomorrow night and, and the night after as well. Well, there you go. Thursday, Friday nights, uh, 7.30 curtain call in the beautiful theater inside the Mary C. O'Keefe Cultural Center in downtown Ocean Springs. If you need any more ticket information, Eric Zela, the director, is in the studio today. Eric, any tickets left? There are a few. A few <laughs> tickets left, so hurry up if you're interested. Now. And uh, go ahead and uh, make that phone call if you want some uh, more information. Yeah, again, it's a beautiful setting for the show. And uh, Michael, Marianne, so glad to have you here. For Thank you. Thanks for having us. Um, these two nights of beautiful um, Celtic music. Fantastic. Yeah. Hope to see you down there, guys. Yeah, we'll see you in the front row. Good luck to both of you. Can you get us backstage? <laughs> I'm sure we can. <laughs> okay. yeah. No problem. Well, up next, I'm going to tell you all about a bereavement camp designed just for children.